Hello friends, my name is Radha Masu. Today we'll discuss about the topic role of project sponsor. Friend, today's topic is very interesting and uh, very important. Friend, if you are a student of project management and studying project management in university, or you are planning to give exam of PMP, uh, friend, uh, with reference to exam point of view, at least four to five questions will definitely be there in the exam, which are directly related to the concept of project sponsor. And in the exam, especially in the PMP exam, they will check that how much you know the role of project sponsor. So your concept related to project sponsor should be very clear. Secondly, friend, uh, if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization as a pro project manager, so you must have to know that what is the role of project sponsor and how to deal with this project sponsor. This is very important. So, friend, let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's start. Role of project sponsor. First of all, see friend, the whole topic is uh, revolve around the concept of project and project management. So first of all, we have to understand what is a project actually. Then we can talk about project sponsor. See, there are two terms, project sponsor so the sponsor for a project so what is a project actually in terms of project uh, PMBOK project management body of knowledge the project is a temporary activity temporary thing which has a beginning and ending point and it gives you a unique output or product that is called as a project for example friend if you are if you are implementing e-commerce solution for a customer and you have to deliver that project within four months and after four months the project will finish so you will say that it's a project why because it is temporary and it is giving you a unique output of product that is called as e-commerce solution so friend two things are very important in a project first thing is temporary second thing is unique output or product remember friend one thing that project can never ever be an ongoing activity for example uh, in, uh, building of house building of flyover implementation of e-commerce solution uh, implementation of a mobile app for a bank banking for bank uh, all these are the example of project let me ask from you uh, can we say that the production of chairs in a uh, factory can we say that it is a project no it is not a project right because it is an ongoing activity it is not temporary first of all then the next thing is that it is not unique it is always giving you the same result so that is why two important key factors should be there always in a project first thing unique second thing temporary now <coughs> project sponsor coming to our, our, our main topic project sponsor so that means friend the one person who is sponsoring who is sponsoring for a project is called as a project in a general sense if you just see this topic and uh, this term project sponsor means the person who is giving a sponsor for the project he is called as a project sponsor now um, generally friend most of the people think that project sponsor means that the person who is funding the project is called as a project to some extent it is true however friend uh, as per the definition of PMBOK or project management body of knowledge the role of project project sponsor is much more than that only the uh, funding person for a project the project sponsor is one and only one level above the project manager they do not manage the day-to-day -day operations of the project but they ensure the resources are in place promote the project and hold overall responsibility of the project success they represent the business side of the project so friend see project sponsor is a person who is a just level one above the project manager he is the person from the business side and he is a person who is basically promoting the project for the implementation he initiated the project and also he is promoting the project that it should be completed on time the resources should be there on time etc etc so all these are the responsibilities will be managed by the project sponsor so the day-to-day -day activities will not be managed by project sponsor why because it will be managed by the project manager actually project sponsor is a person who is a level one above the project manager he is responsible that make sure that things are going fine on track 
if there is anything happen like for example if any corrective correction is required if any uh, corrective action is required so he is responsible to take the correction ac corrective action if resources are not there so he has to make sure the resources should be available on time and the things should be uh, going well in the right direction let me give you some uh, example for a highway construction project the project sponsor is likely employed in the by the state state uh, or the by the country in contrast the project manager is employed by the construction company and submit project update and request funding changes from the project sponsor so see friend here project sponsor is a person from the from the state basically okay and the project manager is a person who is managing the day to day activities for the construction of a highway another example of uh, project sponsor is that for example for a house construction project the project sponsor is likely employed by the house or for the success of the company uh, uh, for, for by the house building company they are probably responsible for multiple house building projects or for the success of the company or some level in contrast the project manager is responsible for the day to day operations and scheduling a house building project for example friend there is some location there is some place at in uh, our society for example a society is building and uh, there are multiple houses are building okay and uh, the person who is are responsible for uh, for the building of society for building multiple uh, houses is a person called as project sponsor who is responsible for building of all the houses are there however the project manager is a person who is managing the day to day uh, operations reporting to project sponsor giving update to project sponsor so like that for an it project the project sponsor might be the chief information officer for the company they receive update and approve project changes from the project manager who is responsible for the immediate day to day project work okay uh, for uh, for example if we talk about friend it project uh, it projects in it project the cio chief information officer should be could be called as a project sponsor so project sponsor is getting update from the project manager if there is any changes are required uh, so project manager is submitting the changes to the cio so project manager is a person who is managing day to day resources day to day task and uh, if there is any changes required so he will be reporting to the cio chief information officer so cio is a main person who is the project uh, sponsor here in the it projects and the project manager is a person who is managing day to day operational task uh, or day to day task for a project okay so that is called as the difference between project manager and the project sponsor <coughs> friend uh, now we can discuss about very simple example very simple role of a project sponsor first of all project sponsor role is promotion promotion means friend to promote the project project promotion means friend that he always try to uh, promote a project at a highest level authorization they authorize the project and assign the project manager when the project manager project sponsor has a lot of authorization he he has the authority to uh, to initiate the project assign the project manager and he is basically the main key stakeholder key decision maker among the stakeholder funding they are responsible for ensuring funding in, is in place and approving changes to the project budget friend and the project sponsor is uh, one of the person who is who has the authority to approve the fund approving authority if there is any changes is coming if there is any work is uh, coming so he is the main person who approving who is approving the work actually so approving person he is the main person a scoping uh, whatever the scoping is done in a project whatever the things what are the scope of work has been finalized it has been reviewed it has been approved by the project sponsor why because project sponsor is the highest level of authority friend so all the things goes through from different level of project management uh technical reviews etc however at the highest level it came at the desk of the project sponsor who has the highest level of authority to approve or reject any change any scope any fund etc uh, then the project charter is uh, this document officially creates the project and friend project sponsor basically create uh, approve the project charter project charter is a document basically uh, which gives authority and nominate the project manager 
in farming they receive project status update from the project manager receiving the project sponsor receive project deliverables from the project manager so friend these are all the very uh, basic and high level uh, uh, role and responsibilities of a project sponsor uh, remember friend one thing that uh, most of the people think that a project sponsor has only one thing that he is the funder he is the uh, fund provider for a uh, for a for a project however this is one of his activities one of his roles and responsibilities that he provide fund except providing funding he has lots of other responsibilities as well which he has which we have discussed as well that he received the update he received the information he received the deliverables also he has the highest level of authority friend try to understand from here the project sponsor like chief information officer or ceo he has the highest level of authority friend he can approve your project he can reject your project he can reject your deliverable he can approve your deliverable so that you can understand that how much it is important that to convince and to get the support of a project sponsor if you want to successfully deliver your project so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side